Hello everyone, welcome to Rasayan Academy once again guys. So yes, I am back with another name reaction and this is a very very important name reaction both for your CSR net exam, gate exam as well as your IIT jam exam as well. Okay, so this is a very simple name reaction, Will Smear Hak reaction and it is very simple and very much applicable and you are going to see this reaction in uh, many of the papers in your uh, university exam also. It's a very important reaction. Now yes, as you can see, uh, we, are, we are going to study the mechanism. First of all, let's uh, take an example, a simple example, and let's try to understand this in the simplest of language. So what is the reaction overall? It is a simple formylation reaction through chloroimmunium salt. Okay, so we are going to make the chloroimmunium salt from where? From the DMF and POCl3 combination. And who is going to react? Only electron rich carbocycles and heterocycles are favored to give this reaction. Okay, and look at this reaction over here. So, what is going on? This is a electron rich carbocycle, isn't it? What is this? You are having a methoxy uh, benzene. This is your anisole molecule, right? So, this is electron rich because of the presence of oxygen. So, this is an electron rich carbocycle that you have over here. And in many of the reactions in your gate and CSR net exam, you have been asked uh, uh, with the heterocycle, the same reaction with the heterocycle. We are going to see those examples which have come in the previous year questions. Okay, so let's start from over here. First thing, you have a combination of DMF and POCl3. Now, this is going to generate the chloroimmunium salt. Okay, we will see how it does so. And then after that, it is just a formylation reaction. Now, depending, see, this reaction is super important because of its regioselectivity. Because of its regioselectivity, that is where the formylation is going to take place. Now, over here, you have a simple molecule. Only one substituent methoxy group is present over here. Now, in its presence, you can directly say, okay, that the reaction, the formylation, if you are generating an electrophile, the chloroimmunium salt is basically an electrophile and you are causing the uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution on these uh, carbocycles and heterocycles. Okay, so this reaction is overall electrophilic aromatic substitution only, right? So which is the most favored position in this molecule, you will say ortho and para. Ortho and para positions are more favored and because of uh, less steric hindrance, the best position for the electrophile addition will be the para. So para product is your major product as compared to the ortho one. This is minor. So this is the first example. Let's consider the mechanism what is going on. Okay. So first of all, let's take the DMF and POCl3 combination. What is DMF guys? DMF is dimethyl formamide. This is your DMF. And what is POCl3 molecule? It looks like this pyramidal in shape. All right, tetrahedral in shape basically. So, nitrogen assists the oxygen to attack over phosphorus. The whole reaction is driven because oxygen-phosphorus bonding is very strong. Okay? Yes. See how it goes. This will be oxygen. P, double bond O. Alright, first you can show it like this as well, but it will give you the same thing, OPO, Cl2 like this. There will be a hydrogen. One of the Cl- minus has been lost from here and nitrogen still has a positive charge. What will happen is the Cl- minus will now attack on this electrophilic carbon over here. The double bond falls over nitrogen. Okay, so you have this nitrogen connected to the uh, carbon. Alright. Let's say the double bond is opened up, positive charge lost. There is one hydrogen, there is one chlorine and there is one oxygen connected to this group over here. Okay, so nitrogen lone pair is back with nitrogen. What is it going to do? It's going to push away the oxygen group from here. It is going to push away the oxygen group from here. This is your double bond. Okay, once again, and what else do you have? You have a positive charge on nitrogen this time. And what has left? O minus P double bond O Cl2. Okay, so this combination, positive and negative charges, this combination is your chloroimmunium. Basically, this part is the chloroimmunium salt. This is your imine 
nitrogen having a double bond is your imine and this is chloro on the alpha position so this is your chloroimenium salt okay which is our electrophile all right now we are going to take this chloroimenium salt forward and we are going to do the reaction so what just happened you were in the previous uh, slide we had seen that you had this molecule anisonal molecule over here so now the further reaction is just electrophilic aromatic substitution as you can see there is a positive charge on nitrogen so the attack takes place from the para position definitely not on nitrogen it will take place on carbon okay yes you know that so methoxy oxygen having a positive charge this is your sigma complex that forms all right this carbon is having one hydrogen one chlorine one nitrogen like this okay so the proton will be lost from this side the proton will be lost from this side you have an intermediate like this methoxy once again it is as it is now what is happening on this carbon over here what is happening with this carbon over here okay so the nitrogen can still fall uh, make the electron use uh, you know use this lone pair and remove the cl minus from here okay and if it does so you are going to get the imenium ion now the nitrogen is going to use its lone pair and it's going to further make the imenium ion okay so this is your final imenium ion which forms and this on hydrolysis is going to give your product okay this on hydrolysis okay water is going to attack over here and the bond is going to open up one by one and you are going to finally get your CHO molecule I hope that you know the mechanism of how the imine salt are hydrolyzed to give you this molecule okay this is your major product if you are not uh, comfortable with this mechanism let us draw the mechanism as well okay so let's draw it over here how does the mechanism go let's say this is your uh, imine molecule yes let's say this is your imine molecule over here there was a hydrogen now water is supposed to attack on this carbon one of the bond opens up and i'm directly writing minus hydrogen plus uh, minus proton plus proton so where does the proton eliminate from here and where does the proton uh, is where is it taken on the nitrogen okay so this is how it is going to become nh right the bond opens up like this now the oh bond is going to get converted to double bond o and the nitrogen becomes a good leaving group all right nitrogen is going to become a good leaving group and this is what you have nh ch3 hold twice okay so i did this proton step directly all right i did not wait for it to become uh, uh, neutral and then get a proton so this is supposed to have a positive charge here also and it is becoming a good leaving group and amine is your byproduct okay so this is how the hydrolysis takes place very very simple all right so i just hope that you find this uh, mechanism very simple guys dmf and pocl3 combination wherever you see you know that it's going to be your formylation reaction you just have to take care of the uh, regio selectivity on which region the formylation takes place all right so let's see some examples now first question comes from csi net december 2012 ex uh, paper and the question goes like this the major product formed in the following reaction is very simple question you are given indole molecule over here in which you have one benzene and one uh, uh, pyrrole ring fused now once again you see it's not directly written dmf but it is written like this dmf molecule is written in the formula manner in this way so this is your dmf and this is your pocl3 combination you know that it's going to be formulation you don't need to do the mechanism once you identify the question so till here you know you don't have to do the mechanism it's your wilsmeyer hack reaction the question is where does it do the formulation second step is hydrolysis so cho is going to attach now that is the regio selectivity where does it do the formulation so for that you have to study heterocyclic chemistry also isn't it 
you have to study heterocyclic chemistry and you have to know that for a simple furan system uh, sorry for a simple uh, pyrrole system the 2 and 5 positions are most active to give you the electrophilic substitution reaction okay but this is not a simple uh, pyrrole molecule so that is why since the benzene is fused over here the most active point is your c3 okay the third position c3 so you are going to get your product on the third position this is the most active uh, site for electrophilic aromatic substitution on the indole molecule itself okay yes why is that so why can't why can't the substitution take place on the second position just like pyrrole because if you want to draw the transition state uh, for doing the substitution on the second position the benzene aromaticity will be disturbed and that is why that's not a favored product so a is going to be your correct answer let's see what are the other options option number b is absolutely wrong because because in both of these rings the more electron rich ring the more electron rich ring is going to attack the electrophile which is that the five membered ring absolutely that is more electron rich so the formylation or any electrophilic uh, substitution will first take place and in the five membered ring which is more electron rich okay and what happens over here option number c why is it wrong because it does not end over forming an amide that is no product at all this is completely absurd once again forming amide at option d completely wrong c and d are completely wrong okay and a and b are asking you regioselectivity so i hope that this question uh, uh, clarifies a lot of things now back in june 2019 and it's a very nice question that you have over here it's a even more selectivity question so the major product a and b of the following sequence are now what is the molecule over here here you see that you have joined from the c2 positions you have joined an indole molecule and a furan molecule that is the question it's a very beautiful question over here you have joined a furan molecule as well as a indole molecule how does it work guys let's say i want to do let's say i want to do uh wills meyer hack reaction dmf pocl3 only one equivalent so when there is one equivalent there is greater regioselectivity so where is that one formyl group going to attach there are three things three rings to consider first is your furan ring which is not as electron rich as the indole ring within the indole ring you have the a uh, few run ring the five member ring with nitrogen this is more electron rich which position third position okay so consider step wise which out of these three rings which is the most electron rich and what is the perfect position so this is it third position so in option number a you are going to do the formylation on the third position looks like this is a perfect answer as well as option number 4 a part of option number 1 and 4 are correct first formylation is never going to take place on furan it is not that electron rich because oxygen does not want to share its electron pair as much as nitrogen okay so 2 is absolutely wrong 3 is also um yeah first part of 3 is also correct okay yes let's now move onwards dmf pocl3 excess so what is this excess going to do see in the second uh, part of the examples of the uh, options you see that there is second formylation done so you understand from there ki chalo theek hai auric formylation ho raha hai excess mein matlab ki formylation at two places so one is this position formylation has been done on this ring now the second formylation will take place on the furan ring but where that is the question where will the second formylation take place so once again this is your five member ring furan okay where will it uh, take place on this position over here okay for the five membered heterocycles whether it is oxygen nitrogen or sulfur the c2 and c5 positions are most active for your electrophilic aromatic substitution that is why this is your correct answer option number 4 okay what is wrong with option number 1 
C3 position not that active. See, C3 position, the formulation will not take place over here if the C2 position is empty. Okay, that is not possible. Alright, so B part is correct for two options, but A part was wrong. So, this is absolutely wrong. Okay, B part of this is wrong because C4 position not favored in the presence of empty C2. So, D is your correct answer fourth is your correct answer and this was a very nice question of selectivity now guys i will be seeing you in more such videos and i hope that you are liking all the name reaction right and i hope that you are writing them you are practicing from them okay so more such videos are going to come up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do all right bye everyone i'll see you very very soon